Hey folks, Frank here, and this is Miscellaneous Ramblings. Uh, today I'd like to talk about marriage, specifically traditional marriage and its destruction. So, a lot of Christians lately have been raising a ruckus about the destruction of traditional marriage. They think that allowing a small percentage of the American populace, uh, 8 to 12 percent is the figures that I see, specifically the homosexual community, that allowing them to marry will destroy traditional marriage. I was thinking about this, and uh, it seems rather foolish to me, because marriage in the United States has already been destroyed. It's being completely eviscerated. And, and what has accomplished this destruction of the traditional marriage in America? It's divorce. That's right. 50% of marriages in the United States end in divorce. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Christian, if you really want to defend traditional marriage, why don't you start a legislative campaign to outlaw divorce in the United States? There you go. That's how you can really defend traditional marriage. Because I checked my Bible, and uh, all the words in red that I could find, not once does Jesus Christ mention the homosexuals. He's got nothing to say about them. He really just ignores them. But uh, as far as marriage is concerned, well, there are several passages where he goes out of his way to condemn divorce. As a matter of fact, he says that if you do get divorced and then remarry, well, that marriage is adulterous. That's right. Anyone who remarries after divorce is committing adultery. Now, this seems very serious to me because this is really what's destroying traditional marriage in my country. And uh, I'd like to see you have the guts to stand by your principles. Outlaw divorce in the United States. I demand you defend traditional marriage in my country. And that's how you can best do it. Yep, outlaw divorce. Let's see how far you get with that agenda in your defense of traditional marriage. Well, that's all I had to say today. Thanks for watching. As usual, Frank out.